Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to be talking about shipping containers and what that is. Shipping containers are standardized metal containers used for the transportation and storage of goods. They can play a crucial role in the global trade and logistical industry, allowing for effective and secure movement of goods by various methods of transportation, including shipping, trucking, and trains. Some of the key features of shipping containers are standard size. Shipping containers come in standard size, the most common being the 20 foot and 40 foot containers. These dimensions make them easy to stack, load, and transport on different types of vehicles. Materials, most shipping containers are made of steel, which makes them durable and able to withstand harsh weather conditions and rough handling during transport transportation. Types. There are various types of shipping containers designed for specific purposes. These include tri containers for general cargo, refrigerator containers, refers key temperature sensitive cargoes for anyone who interested or perhaps if you have some good ideas uh, they are currently offering funding for these particular containers uh, for a company to uh, uh, which can prolong uh, or save energy or perhaps uh, offer solutions perhaps how we can improve this particular chain <laughs> than delivering goods. Uh, open top containers for oversizing uh, cargo, flat track containers for heavy or bulky items or more. Door configuration. Uh, standard container typically have double doors at one end throughout some specific, uh, specified containers have different doors configuration. This allows for easy load and outload of cargo. Cargo security, shipping containers are designed to be secure with strong lock mechanism to protect uh, containers from the theft and uh, tampering during transit. International standards, shipping containers adhere to the international standards set by <coughs> organizations like the International Organization of Standards, ICU, that many of you might know of. <laughs> if we're talking about quality, that should be uh, 9001 <laughs> standard of ICO. Uh, this ensures uh, compatibility and interchangeability between containers and transportation systems worldwide. International transportation containers are designed to be easily trans uh, transferred between different modes of transportation. They can be loaded onto ships, then onto trucks or trains, without the need or to unpack and repack the cargo. The repurposing shipping containers have found use beyond transportation and storage. They are often repurposed for various applications, including as model houses. There's a lot of issues with that. <laughs> After I've done a little bit of research. Especially with supporting framing on the top, but other than that, perhaps that's the future uh, without mentioning other issues. <laughs> Office, retail space, and even art installations. Container identification Each shipping container has a unique identification number called container number for SON number, which is used to track and, and documentation purposes. Environmental considerations. The shipping industry is working on more sustainable practices. Some initiatives involve the development of eco-friendly containers, reducing emissions from container ships, and promoting, uh, promoting containers to use and recycling. Now, there are a lot of interesting projects up there, one of them being uh, how they can move uh, autonomously those containers on the uh, rails. Uh, or put, just putting them on a platform uh, would <laughs> uh, you, you can do your own research but there are, what I'm saying is uh, there are a lot of interesting uh, 
uh, projects who are looking to optimize and perhaps offer a lot of value to large groups of people. Uh, one that uh, in particular I was looking at, uh, it was moving containers by rail and how they can be done. Uh, if you like, you can do your own research and find out more about the whole industry and what's happening. I have published a book, name of the book is Game Strategy, in the book I'm sharing a lot of information for anyone who is interested in find out more, what it takes, the perhaps whatever you might be, if you currently within your stage, the particular stage might be you haven't started your business yet, you're doing a, a research on uh, what to expect, what to know, uh, what you should be aware of, how you can assess risks involved when starting a business. If you already started a business, there's a lot of information with regards to what you would need to know, prepare, or perhaps some of the solutions uh, that you can find within the book, as well as if you a long time runner of the business, as well as if you're an investor in different businesses. There's a little bit of information for everyone when it comes to understanding of uh, what the future is going to be like. Uh, I would highly recommend for everyone purchasing this book. You can find it in the description below as well as top retailers have it. A, you, I would highly recommend for everyone who is a manufacturer and producer of tangible goods. I would highly recommend to take a look at this area and perhaps doing your own research. Just because I don't have enough time, I can't go too much into detail. Other than that, uh, I would try to highlight as many areas as I can. Then you thinking about where you're manufacturing goods and how you're going to be transporting those goods. I would definitely recommend taking a look at shipping containers and how you're going to be looking to set clear objectives, define your transportation related objectives such as reducing shipping costs, improving delivery times, increasing cargo security, or expanding your market reach. The objectives will guide your operating decisions. Assess your needs. Determine the specific transportation need of your business. Consider factors such as the type of cargo you handle, the volume of the goods, transportation roads, as well as frequency of shipments. Choose the right uh, container type. Select the appropriate container type based on your cargo uh, container procurement. Decide where your purchase, lease, or use Third-party containers, this choice depends on your budget, long-term plans, and the volume of shipment. Container management, develop system for tracking and managing containers, implement container numbering systems, maintenance schedules, and inspections pro uh, protocols to ensure containers are in a good condition and comply with the regulations. Transportation modes. Consider transportation modes you will use such as ocean freight, rail, tracking or a combination of these. Optimize your route of planning to minimize cost and transit times. International transportation. Explore international transportation options that allow seamless transport. <laughs> I guess everyone wishes it was seamless. Transfer between different uh, modes of transport. Uh, just quickly, if I had to give an example, right? So there's a lot of cars that some of them can be from different parts of Asia. Uh, car itself it can cost two thousand, and transportation can cost about six, eight thousand. So it's seamless and it can be very expensive. Cargo consideration and uh, the consideration plan or for efficient cargo consideration, packing multiple shipments into a single container and the, uh, the consolidation, unpacking containers at their destination, as well as security of the cargo, documentation and compliance, ensure that you ha have all necessary shipping documents in order. Risk management, implement risk mitigation strategies to handle potential disruptions such as weather delays, port strikes and security issues. Uh, technology integration, oh, I don't have enough time to cover all the uh, employee training, emergency response plan, compliance regulations, continuous improving. Let's finish with continuous improving. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.